So judging by the numbers, not a single human being is actually watching it, but the Winter Olympics are officially underway in Beijing, China. So what's our media's posture toward this? We'll suck up to our new leaders, the Chinese. Here's one talking head from ESPN explaining that we don't have the moral authority to criticize China's human rights record. Who are we to criticize China's human rights records when we have ongoing uh, attacks by the agents of the state against unarmed citizens and we've got assaults on the voting rights of, of our people of color in various states in this country? Can we deport that guy? Probably not. That's a shame. What a lie, all of it. You'd have to be like a moron to say something like that. Clearly, he is. Pretty embarrassing, but he's not the worst offender. No one has sucked up to their new masters in Beijing more assiduously than NBC News, which paid a lot of money to broadcast the Olympics this year. Here's one of their main script readers. A choice by Xi Jinping to have one of the members of the Uyghur population, the subject of much scrutiny, uh, the population that the U.S. says has been a subject of genocide in northwestern China, to have a member of that community as one of the two that would light the Olympic flame. I have to turn to Andy Brown in this moment and ask you, it does seem so striking and so provocative by Xi Jinping in a real message. A real message? No, the Uyghurs are fine. Are you kidding? They're fine. Stop your whining about the Uyghurs, please, says NBC News. Clay Travis is the founder of Outkick and the co-host of the Clay Travis and Buck Sexton show, which is fantastic. He joins us tonight. Clay, thanks so much for coming on. So why are you whining about the Uyghurs anyway? I just learned from NBC they're fine. They're in the Olympic Games. <laughs> Man, Tucker, first of all, thanks for having me on. This is what I've actually been talking about you with for a long time. It is as crazy as you think the political media is and as biased as you think the political media is, Tucker. Sports media is a billion times worse. I mean, we just had on ESPN, by the way, people come home from work. They want to pop a beer. They want to find out who won a game. And next thing you know, you're watching J.A. Adande, who, by the way, is a Northwestern journalism professor, tenured guy, to my knowledge, getting paid there as well, spreading direct Chinese propaganda. That is what China tries to argue. Oh, we may have genocide. We may have actual slave labor being used by uh, Uyghur Muslims who are being made to pick cotton to make uh, tennis shoes, by the way. But, you know, in the United States, there are disputes over whether or not uh, Georgia has too restrictive of a voting bill. So it would be unfair for the United States to point out Chinese genocide. That is a Chinese propaganda message that is being propagated directly by ESPN. And it's so noxious, Tucker, because it's occurring. It's not like you're watching MSNBC or reading the New York Times or the Washington Post or CNN. And you might expect if you're reasonably intelligent, hey, I'm being uh, talked to in a dishonest manner. They're insinuating it within their coverage of sports, which is why it's particularly fertile and probably why Disney is currying favor in that manner with China. And by the way, Tucker, nobody argued against that. Nobody said, hey, you know, Maybe comparing the Georgia voting bill, which is more expansive than what exists in New York and also Delaware, where our president is from, with genocide is a bad example to be trying to make here. And oh, by the way, maybe holding corporations like Coke, by the way, Tucker, who said, hey, we can't have this Georgia bill. We support the Major League ba Baseball All-Star game being pulled out of Atlanta. You ask them what they think about Chinese genocide and suddenly they can't say a word. It's all ridiculous lies, and sports media is being used to try to sp spread as much Chinese propaganda as there can be. But to be fair, there are still states in this country in which it's required to show voter ID before you vote. So, <laughs> you know, I think that's tantamount hey, to Hey, to be fair, Tucker, they're more strict in New York if you want to take your kid to McDonald's in terms of being able to show well, an exactly. ID than if you want to vote. That's not even hyperbole. That's the truth. But your digital health pass will be required. We're reaching peak insanity. Yes. Clay Travis, great to see you tonight. Thank you. Hey, appreciate it, Tucker. Thank you. We'll be right